Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Welcome to the Big Idea Series, where we answer curious questions for curious minds. How do animals communicate? Today, we will explore the many ways animals share information. Communication lets a bird warn its flock about a hawk, helps a honeybee point nestmates toward nectar, and allows an elephant family to stay together across miles of savanna. By looking at sounds, sights, smells, touch, and even vibrations and electricity, you'll see that every signal has a purpose. The goal of this video is simple, to give clear examples of each method and to show why it matters for survival. Sound signals. One of the most familiar channels is sound. Songbirds use short, sharp alarm calls to signal danger and longer, more musical sounds to claim a territory. Prairie dogs produce barks so detailed that researchers can tell whether the threat is a coyote, a hawk, or a human in a blue shirt. Whales rely on low-frequency sounds that travel through water for hundreds of miles, guiding migrating pods through dark seas. Elephants rumble in infrasound, pitches too low for human ears, letting scattered family members coordinate movements long before they meet. Even tiny insects get in on the action. Male crickets rub their wings together, creating species-specific chirps that attract mates while avoiding predators that can't hear those frequencies. Sound works well because it travels fast and can be modulated in pitch, volume, and rhythm, packing a lot of data into a short burst. Visual signals. Lights, colors, and body motions often speak louder than words or chirps. Fireflies flash timed patterns to identify species and to signal readiness to mate. Peacocks fan brilliant tail feathers. The size and symmetry of each eye disc advertise health to passing hens. Cuttlefish turn skin cells called chromatophores on and off like pixels, producing rippling waves of color that can hypnotize prey or warn rivals. Dogs and wolves rely on posture. A tucked tail signals submission while raised hackles mean back off. Lizards perform push-play displays on sunny rocks. Their bright throat fans bobbing in an unmistakable territorial claim. Visual clues work best in daylight or clear water and can be turned on and off instantly, reducing energy costs once the message is delivered. Chemical Messages Smell is the telephone line of the night. Ants lay pheromone trails from food back to the nest. Each worker reinforces the track and the chemical pathway grows stronger until the resource is gone. Moths can detect a mating pheromone plume from more than a mile away flying upwind in zigzags until they find the source. Wolves and big cats mark territory with urine that tells neighbors, occupied, move along. 
Even plants join the conversation. When caterpillars chew a leaf, the injured plant releases airborne signals that warn nearby stems to boost bitter chemicals. Chemical messages last longer than sound or sight, making them perfect for long-term markers. They also travel around obstacles, so dense forests or murky water won't block the signal. Touch and vibration. Close contact adds extra nuance. Chimpanzees groom each other to reinforce social bonds and reduce tension after conflicts. Honeybees perform the waggle dance on the honeycomb's dark surface. The angle and duration of each wiggle encode both direction and distance to flowers. Spiders use web vibrations like Morse code, telling potential mates they are not food. Mother elephants rest trunks gently on calves to reinforce them, while the calves answering chirps confirm safety. Touch is direct and often private, ensuring only the intended partner interprets the meaning. Electrical and Seismic Talk some species communicate in ways almost alien to humans. Electric fish in murky African rivers emit weak electric pulses. Each species has a unique waveform preventing crossed wires when different fish swim together. Pulse frequency also conveys mood. Rapid bursts signal agitation while slower rhythms suggest calm courtship. Meanwhile, frogs and kangaroo rats thump the ground. Low-frequency vibrations travel through soil farther than airborne croaks. Elephants stomp and send seismic waves detectable several miles away by sensitive footpaths. These underground messages cut through wind, rain, and forest clutter, providing reliable updates about danger or migration routes. Multimodal messages. Animals rarely rely on a single sense. A male sage grouse inflates yellow throat sacs for a booming pop while strutting, pairing sound with sight. Poison dart frogs display bright skin and croak loudly, doubling down on the warning. Dolphins blend whistles with body slaps and bubble streams during play and aggression layering cues so none are missed. Domestic cats meow to humans, per in close contact, arch their backs, and release scent from cheek glands all parts of a complex, flexible toolkit. Combining channels improves clarity. A fog muffles a ghost call, Wind flashes still carry the news. If night hides color, scent picks up the slack. Why communication matters. Every method serves survival. Warning calls cut predator success. Courtship displays ensure healthy offspring. Territorial markers reduce costly fights. Social grooming cements alliances that defend food sources. Communication balances cooperation and competition, shaping behaviors that ripple through entire ecosystems. 
From vibrating webs through ocean songs deeper than a bass drum, animal communication is diverse, adaptive, and endlessly inventive. Each signal suits an environment and solves a problem. By paying closer attention on hikes, in tide pools, or even in your own backyard, you can witness these exchanges firsthand, an invitation to look, listen, and learn. Thanks for watching the Big Idea series, where we answer curious questions for curious minds. As always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email easyahomeschoolacademy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.